Hi, in this really short video, all that I wanted to do is show you some ideas that you can use to build and manage your data visualization and storytelling capability. So you can start thinking about from an organizational perspective down to a project or team level and then to you as an individual. So from an organizational perspective, it's important to start thinking about how well and how much support you have from your leadership in order to pursue and build a data visualization capability. The other aspect is about aligning the product of your work with strategy, with the goals of your organization. And the last suggestion is about unleashing passion. I'm sure you will find individuals in your organization that are really passionate about data and how they can help you solve and build a successful data visualization and storytelling capability. From a project perspective, there are essentially three things that I think it's worth thinking about. The first one has to do with the questions and how well are you defining the questions that you need to have answers for. The second one is about defining really well your audience. And it's not simply just saying, you know, it's a group of individuals or it's my boss or it's my client. No, it's about getting qualitative aspects of your audience and defining them really well. The last part here is about rethinking how your visuals should be used, how your visuals should be built. And it's not so much about building really fancy things, but it's about applying rigor and purpose on basic visual encodings. The last thing that I want to talk to you is about you as an individual and as a professional. So get upskilled, get closer to that world, borrow some different ideas, potentially pursue a formal structure of learning in data visualization and storytelling. The other idea here is to just really get closer to books and some blogs that exist out there and there's many, many options available. Lastly, just do it. It's really important to get your hands dirty and try. It's not only about doing it, but it's really about trying new things. Okay, so I hope all of these ideas were helpful to you and your team and potentially your whole organization. And if there's any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time.